Hey guys, just a quick preview for today's episode. It is going to be a little longer because we're going to do an unboxing. We're going to look at some of the new features in the game, actually in the game, as we come across them. There's two or three things that I may want to make sure I point out to you guys that you see it. So we'll look at those. Uh, we're only doing one match today, so just a heads up, not my standard two matches, just with all the stuff going on in the first episode of the release. So that's why it's a little long. If you just want the match, please feel free to jump ahead. But we do go through uh, the setup. We do go through the setup and everything else and then look at some features that I do spot going through the recording process. So maybe something you want to see. So just a heads up, hope you guys enjoy the episode. Well, hey everybody, this is RC and welcome to Football Manager 21. The beta just went live about 10 minutes ago. I've gotten it downloaded and I've gone into the startup for some reason, it would not access my webcam. It, it, it was in the list, but it won't pick it up. So not exactly sure what's causing that, but uh, we'll maybe report that as a bug if some other people are also seeing that. Oh, by the way, I did register for uh, FMFC uh, for their giveaways and stuff, the jersey. So hopefully I get one. But let's start a new career game. And we are going to start with Leeds United. As we have talked about, we will do an advanced setup. And I'll just walk through this so you guys can see. Uh, I'm not really worried about what leagues, so we're good with that. Do not add key staff. I think we're good there. So we actually have a very high game speed. Let's go ahead and raise it to a large database. Everything in the game is vanilla. I don't usually add anything in the beta. Just most things are not, thank you. Most things are not ready to go yet. So we are gonna go with that. You have selected, that's fine. So while this is finishing up, let me just kind of give a welcome to anybody new to the channel. Uh, hopefully we do see an influx of new viewers with uh, the new game release. And if you are new, welcome. So I am an American. I have been uh, playing Football Manager since FM14. And I started getting serious in Football Manager FM17. Uh, did not buy 15 or 16. And this is the start of my fourth year of doing YouTube videos for Football Manager. Now, I have always said that I'm going to go with Disciplinarian because we are taking Marcelo Bielsa's place. I've always said that I play for fun, so I do do this full time. I put up six videos a week. Monday through Saturday. Sunday's the only day that I don't have an upload for Football Manager. And I do sometimes put up other Let's Plays for other games, but Football Manager is the main part of my channel. And I want to look through some of the stuff to see if we see anything new with you guys. But if you're new, I think there's some things that you need to know. So I record in the corner of my living room. Unlike some of the big full-timers, I do not have a room uh, in my house soundproofed and everything uh, just for me. So I have a wife. I have three kids. Uh, one of my kids has a boyfriend and a daughter. So I have a granddaughter in the house. In addition to all those people, I have two dogs and 11 cats. They are all rescue animals. So you will hear people talking on occasion. You will hear people yelling on occasion, which happens in a house full of people. And you may see cats laying on me, running behind me, dogs barking. Uh, 
you know, you get it live and raw. Uh, that's what you get with my channel. And I hope you can live with that because it's not going to change. Uh, mainly because I don't have anywhere to stick my computer in a separate room. Every room in the house is allocated for something. So with that said, let's get into it. I think I've got some quiet time here with the release, uh, but let's move into it. So the goal of this beta save, we're going to play at least a season, possibly two, uh, depending on how many we can get through before November 24th and the full release. But the goal here is to play with my favorite club, Leeds United, back in the Premier League after 16 years. And uh, by the way, if anybody has a copy of uh, Championship Manager, whatever, uh, 1991, uh, I'd love a copy of that with Leeds in the Premier League at that time. But I have a copy now in FM21 with Leeds in the Premier League. So we're predicted to finish 10th. That's interesting. So we have Victor Ordas, our general manager. Diego Reyes is our assistant coach. Three and a half star reputation, 37,890 seat capacity built in 1897 at Ellen Road. And we do our training at Thorpe Arch. So nothing new there. So they do play a 4 1 4 1 like Marcelo Bielsa. So Meslier, Dallas, Koch, Urente has been placed in in place of Cooper. That's interesting. Luke Ayling, Phillips, Klitsch, Rodrigo, Harrison, Hernandez, and Bamford. So Hernandez would normally play down in this role, and we would have Helder Costa. We do have Harrison on the right. Hot prospect is Jamie Shackleton. Key player is Rodrigo. Our captain is Liam Cooper who is not in the starting 11, according to the game. And that would make sense because Urente, while he hasn't played yet in real life, is an international player So for, for Spain, along with Rodrigo. So loan obligations. Jack Harrison is in from Man City with an option to buy. Lawrence DeBach is out. Unan O'Kane, Barry Douglas, and he's in the last year. Tuminzikov. Bryce Hosanna, Robbie Gotts, McCalmott. So everybody is out on loan with the exception of Harrison. So that's a quick glance at the team. Uh, we have to play entertaining soccer, play attacking soccer, develop youth uh, players using the club's youth system. Here's a question for you, and I don't. it doesn't bother me. I try to say football as much as I can. But being that this is a European-based game, why do they say soccer so much in the game? Because any time that I have used soccer, I usually get shouted down in comments, it's called football here. And I get it. I get it. But it is what it is. Uh, it is soccer here in the States, but in deference to the game, uh, I do try to call it football. Uh, increase commercial revenue, grow the reputation, uh, finish mid-table in the Premier Division League, fifth round of the FA Cup, and fourth round of the Carabao Cup. And I'm only on a one-year deal, so that is good. Scouting induction. Yeah, I'm not... That's new. That's a new screen that you can, uh, you know, set it to come to you today. I will do that off-camera. And we'll do that all. And we will save this as my YouTube save. All right. So just kind of taking a look here. Emails are all the same. These look all the same. But you can report a bug. Development Center. We have 12 players out on loan. We have a strong U23 squad close to being ready for first team opportunities and an average U18 squad. Okay, we're going to skip that. So development center. Oh, okay, that's general training. Yeah, we'll give that to the coaching staff. I'm going to keep control of loans. Finances, we have 3.9 million in the bank, 3.8 million in the transfer budget, 48 million 
on our payroll, which we're spending 46.7. Club Vision, we've already talked about. Club Info, so that was relegated in 03 04, and then went into League One in, at the end of the 06 season. Took a few years to get back up, and we are finally back up. So, uh, they oh, they've updated the kit, so all the kits are in the game now. I still wish, that's one of my things, I would like in a multi-year save that we could change kits. Because they change kits every year, right? I think that would be something neat. So, Rodrigo's our key player. Uh, transfers... We hold a 15% sell-on clause for Charlie Taylor. I'm going to skip that induction. And I'm going to handle scouting meetings, but assigning scouts will be the coaching staff. That's fine. Mid-table, so we've already talked about that. We have friendlies. Those are not, the, to my knowledge, those are not the real friendlies that they had this year. Maybe they are. I don't remember. And we certainly did not start off with Aston Villa. So, interesting. I wonder why they don't have the actual schedule. All right, Berardi, end of last season in the final game, uh, he did tear uh, his ACL and he is out for the whole season. But, to their credit, Leeds did sign him to a one-year deal. So he is going to get paid for this year while he rehabs. And fair play to Leeds for doing that. Uh, we're going to skip that. And general training, I'm going to give to the coaching staff. I always tend to do that. We do have a couple of openings, but nothing major. Manage friendlies handle press conferences, broadcast, and recruit staff. And staff contract renewals. I actually let my GM mostly handle that. Team report, kicking, player partnership. Unfortunately, we don't have Ben White in the side anymore, so that really doesn't apply. We don't have that partnership. Uh, not the best group of goalkeepers in terms of commanding their area. I'm curious to see how Meslier is interpreted by the game. Because he is young. He's only 20 years old. He's done a really solid job for the most part. That's true. Tactics. We're going to skip this. And we are going to... We're going to go tick attack because that's what Leeds does. Dominate possession. Relentless pressing. Um, do we really patiently wait for openings? Maybe they're more gig and press. They do wing play. We do overload wide areas. Certainly none of that. None of that. Um, you know what? Let's go with the gig and press. And... We're going to go with the 4-3-3 wide. I think that's fine. Taking a look in here. Pass into space. Attacking width. We actually attack relatively wide. A lot of runs on the sidelines. Passing directness. And they do a lot of long outlet passes. So we're going to make it more direct. Extremely high tempo. No time wasting. Uh, they don't really hit early crosses. I'm going to leave most of that off. Uh, counter press, counter, goalkeeper, distribute quickly, distribute to the center backs. Um, I do like distribute to playmaker, but normally it's to the center backs, then they play it up to Calvin Phillips. But we'll do that. And then here. Uh, pressing is extremely high. Defensive width standard. Much higher. I like all that. We'll see how that works. All right. If we go here, then we would look at. Um, we are going to go with 
What is Bamford's rating? So 14 finishing, 13 pace, 13 acceleration. Rodrigo, only a 12 finishing. Who's Patrick wanted by? By Brighton? Well, if Brighton thinks I'm going to trade them anybody, they are out of their minds. Let's go with the guys that we know. We're going to go with Calvin. And let me do this, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. All right. So taking a look, we're going to go with Bamford up top, Harrison and Rafinha on the wings, Klitsch and Rodrigo in the mid, Phillips in the defensive holding position, Dallas, Cooper, Cock, and Ailing on the back four, Meslier in goal, Casilla, Pablo Hernandez, Elioski, Costa, Stroik, Shackleton, and Urente on the bench. Uh, it actually grades Urente to be the better option, but I'm going to defer. Uh, Cooper is the captain. He's actually not any worse in his ratings the only thing that he he's a little slow on his acceleration but he is the only one that is left footed there i believe i think urente in real life can actually play there but anyway we are going to go with that all right so we have some contracts we'll look at that uh, tactics induction we've skipped Club Vision, we have accepted that. We've already talked about. Berardi's the only one that's out. Uh, Kwasim Boy, uh, I don't think he's actually been at Leeds in six years. And Tyler Roberts has a hamstring strain. So there we go. A minimum of eight players trained in England. So Berardi would be there. Meslier doesn't count. Berardi can't play. Stroik's under 21. Shackleton's under 21, but that'll get us to the to nine players. Uh, Paveda, forgot about him. I didn't see him in the list. And Tyler Roberts. All right, let's jump down and look at the U23s, only the U23s, and sort by ability. So really nobody ready to come up. We do have a couple of, I mean, McKinstry looks really good in real life. Uh, Cresswell has looked really good as well. Leaf Davis has actually had some uh, premier minutes. Sam Greenwood looks incredible. And Paveda um he's only 20 and so i guess they're not giving him i guess they're not giving him but he's actually in on the bench for for leads all right well let's finish this up good youth facilities who are our captains so it's cooper and ailing that's fine we're not going to really mess around with all that Set up social feed. I did see a thing today that the, the right mouse button will open up and, and these will be a lot more. In fact, I can right there, training intensity. All right, well, we'll, we'll take a look at that as we go. I always send off with uh, a weak spine and then we jump up to two weeks. And if it's a straight red, it is two weeks right from the get go. He is loan listed, but I know that they did not loan him out because they really felt that he could be of use this year. So there's Davis. Berardi's not there. Ailing, I really don't want him playing in the center. Stroik could play there. He can also play midfield if memory serves right. I mean, he has played midfield before, but he's not on the list here. Uh, you know what? I am going to reject that. My Middlesbrough's after him. I'm going to take him off that. So he does have interest in loans from quite a few clubs. 
Oh, this looks new. Instructions for your general manager to sell the player. Okay, no, it's just titled differently, but this used to be over in this area, right? And this used to be over here to the right, maybe? But yeah, don't want him. We're not going to, uh, we are going to reject all offers. Uh, in fact, there you go, Davis and Paveda. So now Paveda's up here. Just want to make sure. Strike. All right, Paveda's under 21. And he's also homegrown, isn't he? Yep. All right, dynamics. Very good and average, but dropping, I guess, because I came in and took Beals' place. Uh, we're going to skip that because I've done it before. Training I've assigned to my assistant. Oh, well, you know what? Let's do the press conference together because that's one of the new features is the press conference stuff. So let's take a look at it. So here's the people attending. Where's Phil Hay? <laughs> All right, Carl Holmes from Football 365. Daniel Cadwallader is our press officer. Ooh, you can storm out. Yeah. All right, we'll start the press conference. All right. Hi, Ragin. What are your thoughts, initial thoughts on taking the Leeds job? So this is where you can now gesture. How about a um, smile warmly. I'm happy to be here, and I'll be even happier when, we can, when I can get with the boys. Cool. Eva Davidson, reserved. You stand here today as a big fan. This must be a dream come true. Positive, convincing, or neutral? What was it about this job in particular? So a disarming manner. Let's open the. Let's open our arms. All right, we'll go that way. It can't be enviable to follow in the footsteps of a legend like Marcelo Bielsa. Um, I would normally shake my head. But I'm going to go with no gesture. And that's, uh, that I've, he was great. It's humbling. If I manage half his success, I'll have done well. All right. So this is pretty cool how the, uh, the questions are coming up here with the people. That's, that's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, I kind of like this. All right. So let's see. Lofty ambitions, hiring you. I'm honored. Does this squad have the necessary quality? Outstretched arms. So it looks like, okay, so when you go outstretched, it actually d grays out some of your options. So pointing your finger, you can't do the, okay, that's interesting. Uh, I have an inherent level of trust and look forward to it. I haven't met them yet, but I'm... Very excited to do so. Leeds fans, we're going to smile warmly. Uh, actually, I'm going to think, I'm going to point my finger assertively. We need their backing, which we do. Oh, and you just saw our press officer got a slightly positive reaction from that. So good. And look at all the encouragement up here. So that's actually something now to strive for, and evidently your reputation with the media people can go up or down. Where can this club go under your leadership? What's your approach on the training ground? All right, so McCready got encouraged by that one. So I don't have a gesture here, so... Any head coach would love to have a player of his quality and I'm no different. All right, that's all today in the press conference. So now he gives us some feedback. I think there was a slightly positive reaction. Uh, Carl Holmes went up. Eva Davidson went up. And the board did not give us any instructions on questions to avoid answering. You have to be aware of that because they could say, don't talk about this. And if you do, it could put you on the hot seat. Interesting. All right. Well, that's new. And honestly, initial thoughts, you're going to have to pay a lot more attention to those.
And I don't know if I can blow off the media by sending my assistant manager like I have in the past. Speaking of assistant manager, okay, Diego Reyes. Yep, he's good. Adam Underwood. All right, well, let me get up to the first match. Rodrigo was player of the match. He had the goal. Noah Kennedy. Kenny got the other one, and we had 13 shots to four. Sloppy. All right, well, let me get up to the first match. So, naturally, you can already tell first episode is going to run a little long. We're only going to do one match today because of everything else with the unboxing and everything. We will do one match uh, to kick off the season against Villa, I believe is who we saw. And then moving forward from here, it will be two games per episode. So I will be right back for you. All right, I wanted to come back for this one because this looks new. So it's a recruitment meeting that the club owner, Roger Zani, is going to be at, as well as Victor Orta, my assistant coach, and the chief scout. And we're meeting on uh, club vision, transfer budget, areas to improve, to review recommendations, and decide on short-term recruitment focus. So this is interesting. This, this is new. All right, so... The five-year plan is to sign young players and work within payroll budget. They finalize the budget. Great. I'd be happy to hear. So they think that we could focus on pressing forward, the holding the defensive midfielder, and the wing back. Even the game doesn't like Patrick Bamford. Adam Forshaw, we haven't seen him in the Premier League. I think he's a good player, but we'll see. Very injury prone, I'm afraid. There is interest in Luke Ayling, so it may be worth looking for a replacement should he depart. Could be worth looking at squad options to replace Tyler Roberts. I agree. All right, uh, let's get started. So Rodrigo, Roberts, Bamford... We don't need to worry about this one right now. Let's look at the next position. Adam Forshaw in the midfield. So we can look at the reports now. Let's do that. All right, so Den Dunker can't afford him and can't afford him either because we've only got $3 million. So from there, we'll skip into a short-term focus. Uh, I'm going to say we want at least two and a half star with at least four star. And we'll do that for one month. All right. And wing back, Stuart Dallas, Ailing, Berardi. And the next position that's in the meeting. Because we've looked at all of them now. Good deal. All right. Well, that's cool. All right, we're going to have a friendly, but I'm still working up towards the first regular season match. Anything new that I see like that, we'll be back to talk about. So something else new, this is the new XG that they talked about. So, you know, this gives you the, the results uh, of what the odds were to win, uh, the shot map, and then, you know, all the other stuff that we're used to seeing. But... 299 short passes, 121 medium, 48 long, 101 passes went forward, 284 went sideways, and 83 went backwards. Best performance, Calvin Phillips. All right, we are here for our first match. So this is a new pop-up I haven't seen before. Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, automatically make unfit first teamers. So this is new. I saw Miles put out a, a tweet about this today. So if they're unfit, we'll make available. So we're going to do that. And we're going to leave that alone. So we're at home. Sell out. Luke Ayling did get hurt uh, in one of the friendlies. He will be out for quite a while. So we want to go here. All right, so Dallas is going to move over to the right. Alioski on the on the will move to left back. 
uh where no we don't want to do that and we don't want to do that dallas will be there and i want click on that side and that is going to be rodrigo over here we're going to put bamford up top uh rafinha and harrison now rafinha is left footed so you'll notice i have him playing an inside forward so he'll cut in harrison is left footed so he's going to stay outside and do more crossing so that's what we're going to go with stroy hernandez roberts davis costa shackleton uh, I think I want, I'm going to bring Urente onto the bench. Actually, I would not mind. Strikes back there too. Hernandez could play either wing. I'm going to bring Paveda on for Roberts. Now that does leave me without a striker on the bench. So maybe I rethink that. I think I rethink that. All right, well, we're going to submit that team. So let's see. Tactics, 4-3-3, defensive mid. We lack tactical familiarity. Well, that's fine. Tactically familiar with the team shape. Meslier. Team instruction suits Alioski's stamina. So that's new. That's a new screen. Interesting. And this is all new. So you actually have the, uh, the the lineup card and the bench card. Cool. Uh, yeah, we'll tell them. Yeah, take Jack Grealish down. I'm okay with that. All right, so press officer, social roundup. Alioski starts, and that's a mistake. He's not right for these matches. Dallas starts, but, and because he's happy, I'm happy. Okay, so interest. So these are your Twitter feeds, but you get them before the game once you release your roster. That's interesting. So this looks new. Instead of having your roster and kind of showing on the screen, now you have the breakout. Kind of like they're around you in the dressing room. So that's, you know, it's a little bit harder to look at. I'm sure it'll be easy to get used to. I like it. All right, let me pause it here real quick so we can set the camera. Just kind of getting a look around here. So these used to be up here, right? So they're down here now. This is where you change your mentality. Now, where is the sub? I don't know if we're going to leave that out here or not. Let's get a feel for it. All right. So they start off with the kickoff. Somebody tackle that bastard. <laughs> and must have been an offside. Yep, Watkins is offside. So that's kind of cool down here. Now, let's pause. So this is interesting. So this it brings this up. You have your XG stats that popped up there. You have your formation, leads attack, the dugout. I don't know what that does. We'll figure it out. All right, Phillips into the box. Rodrigo is there, and he puts it in. Was he offsides? Possibly. VAR is checking the goal. And the goal is disallowed. I actually like this better than the old where he ran all the way over to the little television. So that's good. I like that. All right. Let's see. So this is your this is your uh your suggestions from your assistant manager. So those come up in here. And then you do it, ignore it, whatever. And looks like uh other goals. So Anfield, Liverpool's gone up. Virgil van Dyke with a fourth minute goal. All right, Phillips into the box again. 
And Robin Cock, his first goal of the season. And that was a brilliant header. Went up right on the set piece, straight down the middle. I'm going to ignore that. And that goes right into the net, and we take a 1-0 lead. Very nice. Definitely on sides. Nice job. Liking that. I want, I'm going to play around with this and see if I can change this around a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. So we've got, we're up into third position. Matty Cash. Barkley, Stuart Dallas, heads it out. Rafinha on the break, and he's got nothing but space. They do close him down. There's a layoff to Phillips. He pings it. Get in there, Calvin, his first of the season. Now, he did score the first goal for us in our first friendly, so that's awesome. Rafinha looked really good. He had some pace. Got shut down. Looked like he was looking for Bamford there in the middle. Laid it off, and then Phillips takes a shot from the edge of the box, and that is good. We can skip up here, so that's good. And we are up now into second position on goal differential. Crystal Palace up 2-1 on Westham. West Ham, Westham. I don't know what I'm thinking about. All right, so we're at the half. So we get an we get the match stats. Seven shots to two, three to one on target. XG of 0.21 to 0 0.07. Six fouls to 13. Rodrigo, a disallowed goal. Koch and Phillips. I think I'm going to call him Koch. I think they, his actual name is Cock. But uh, just, you know, not that I'm worried about monetization because I don't have the subscribers to be monetized. But... Let's just kind of stay off of the cock jokes. So that's the last time you'll hear that from me. All right, let's go into the dressing room. Um, outstretched arms. Please keep it going. And so you can see everybody on this side of the room looked up. Uh, where are, this is my bench. Where's everybody else? Oh, they're up across the top. Okay, so you have your starting 11 here and your subs. So if you're looking, you're basically looking into the dressing room, probably curved, kind of like Tottenham's, if you saw the, uh, the special on them. So you have your starters in front of you and down one side, bench players on the other side. I'm liking that. And uh, we're going to hand this over to assistant coach. Nope. All right. Let's start the second half. And Elioski with a throw in. Some quick one-two passing. Shot on goal. It was on target, but Martinez makes the stop. Taking a quick pause here. So you've got your ratings. So basically, this is gonna, you can always have this up rather than only seeing it in between highlights. That's kind of interesting. Let's tell them to, um, we're going to praise them. Rodrigo's morale looks down. Koch out to Alioski. He goes over the top. Bamford is there, and Bamford scores his first of the season. And we are up 3-0 on Villa, much like real life. All right, we don't need to see that one again. And that puts us top of the table with a plus three goal differential. Cooper, Phillips, working the ball back and forth there. Rodrigo. Some good ball movement. Oh, that was not good. Ollie Watkins picks it up. Grealish is through the channel there. Oh, there's dangerous move by Grealish, but right into Meslier's hands. Grealish playing with real fire in his belly here. Was he really? A oh, nice drop-in pass to Harrison. 
couldn't find the finish there. Traore out to Watkins. Good defensive posture, it looks like. Oh, and there was a nice goal by Traore. First goal of the season for him. Oh, that was that was a little rough. I want to take a look at that goal because, I mean, some good ball movement. All right, so that is, I think that's Elioski right there. Yeah, it was. West Ham has equalized. All right, out to Rodrigo. And it's taken away after he took a tackle. Click. Rafinha. Well, there's a nice ball out to Stuart Dallas. Oh, Rodrigo got it into the middle. Harrison had cut inside, got his shot blocked. Oh, uh, look at the pass by Rafinha. Rodrigo, edge of the box. Oh, he's taken down hard by Mings. Oh, that looked like Mings tape, uh, trying to pull Patrick Bamford up by the throat. All right, so he still runs over to the little telly. It was outside the box. There's no penalty there. And if it's not, that might be the first one we've ever seen. I think that's the first VAR that has been no penalty. So they have fixed this. Way to go, SI. Got to be happy about that. So that is certainly a new, a new thing where you can actually see a no penalty, no goal by VAR. That's cool. Glad we were able to see that in our first match. Oh, uh, Treore. All right. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to do... Where's their fitness? Oh, here we go. Okay, so Rodrigo is definitely tired. So we want to bring in a central midfielder. All right, I am not able to make any moves from here. Why not? Why not? Do I have to do it from here? Shackleton in for Rodrigo. Now... Do I want him in the advanced playmaker role? He can do that job. I think he is more attacking. And I really don't like the... Not really sure how I feel about the arrows. I kind of like numbers. Where I can actually see. Fatigue is low. High risk of injury. All right. Let's confirm that sub. All right, that was brutal. Uh, yep, yeah, man mark, do it. All right, and let's go look at our subs again. So we should be able to bring that out. Okay, so if we look at the guys here, Elioski's being, his body language is aggressive. Calvin Phillips is fine. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about, just about the arrows. 6'6". Six, six. Do I want to bring Rafinha off? You know what, let's do that. Let's bring Pablo Hernandez on for him. I could bring Pablo into the middle here, but I think we'll be all right. Uh, looks like Rodrigo needed to get subbed off. So let's look at subs again. We just brought Rodrigo off, yeah? Yeah, okay. Not sure what that was. Over the top. He had to have been off sides. Come on. 
A goal at Bramall Lane put Sheffield United up 1-0 on Tottenham. Dallas. Pass back to Phillips. Finds Alioski. He takes a ping, and Alioski puts it in from range. That was a beautiful goal, and that should sew this up, right? Let's pause this. All right, so I want to try. We're going to slow the pace down. We're going to regroup on when we lose possession. I think that's good. And confirm changes. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to on how, uh, you know, on, on the fitness of the players for your subs. Oh, that was a good clearance. They've got an opportunity here. Treore with space. Calvin Phillips with a beautiful tackle. All ball. And let's do, all right, yep, we do have some tired people here. So we can bring in defensive center, Stuart Dallas, Alioski. Could we bring, let's look at Urente. He can play those outside positions. Harrison, I'm going to leave him on. I would like to bring on another... Tell you what, Pablo, can you play? You can actually play back a little bit. I think I'm going to drop you. I'm going to drop Shackleton over. We're going to do that, and then we're going to bring on Costa. Let's do that. Mostly time wasting. Oh. Ignore that because we've already made the sub. All right, there was a good block. Harrison on the counter. Bamford slow to make his run. He's got somebody on the back door here. There it is. Turn it. Oh, come on. Harrison on the ball again. Finds Pablo. And Pablo was off sides. All right. And there we go. So 11 to 10 on shot, 7 to 5 on target, 0.52 to 0.59 on XG. I don't actually understand XG. I haven't really paid a lot of attention to it. They had more corners, double the fouls. Uh, we were up there with passes. We held possession. Alioski with the game sealer. Bamford with the game winner. Calvin Phillips gets player of the match, 8.7. And that is a good deal. Uh, let's see. So we want to outstretched arms. A good win, boys. Well done. And that gives you your assistance recommendation as well. So everybody's inspired across the board, Shackleton and Hernandez as well. So that is good. And we'll continue from there. And we got an achievement for our first win. And we are second in the table in the early going. Man City uh, got a win, 3-0 over Southampton. West Ham got a win. Chelsea a draw. Arsenal beat Brighton. Leicester Burnley were a draw. Liverpool beat Fulham, Everton over Newcastle. You guys can look at the score. Uh, and here are, and so this is, again, kind of new. You get this typically on your social media or your news page in your email after the match. Decent result, decent match. Quite impressed with Robin Koch on his debut. Didn't think Koch looked that good. That sounds like Leeds fans. All over the map. <laughs> All right. So, as I said, because of the length of the episode, today we're only going to have the one match. Uh, we will come back. I'll figure out where we'll come back. We'll get into a routine, and uh, we'll go from there. But, guys, thanks so much for watching. And, look, if you are new to the channel, 
take a minute and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you get updates when I do post new videos. Uh, Monday through Saturday, you'll see new videos from me for Football Manager. And uh, I love to comment. I'm still a small enough channel that I try to make comments to everybody that comments on my videos, uh, except for the spam ones, of course. But uh, anyway, that's another story. Uh, and again, if you are new, welcome. I look forward to getting to know you over the over time. And to those of you that are following me from FM20 or previous versions, because some of you do go back a little ways, thank you very much for coming back. Uh, you guys know I don't take you for granted, and I do appreciate you coming by. Uh, and uh, hey, see you guys. Take care. Bye.